Hey, my friends, this is Jeff Yalden. I want to send this message to a new friend of mine named Austin. Austin's a young man that recently heard me speak and, you know, like everybody, uh, we battle different issues regardless of what they might be. Austin is no different than other people and maybe his issues could be more severe than others. Austin and I uh, kind of connect on different levels when you talk about depression and uh, anxiety and maybe thoughts of suicide and um, so anyway I've been contacted by Austin's mom and Austin's mom told me that that he came home after listening to me speak and spent two hours talking about the message I shared and mom I want to thank you the night that I read your message to me was a, a tough night for me just emotionally I was spent um, I was exhausted. I had the curtains drawn, the lights out, and it was a dark night. Went to bed real early, and uh, so to make a long story short, when I got your message, it kind of hit me, and I said, you know, there's so many reasons why we do what we do, and uh, your message came at such an awesome time. Having said that, Austin, I'm proud to be able to share this message with you. Number one, I want to thank you for listening. I think you're the one that's the hero. I did my job, but you chose to listen. Number two, Austin, it's okay to be different. I wish you could understand when you're young, it's hard because you want to be accepted. You want people to like you. You want to fit in. But then when we don't fit in because we are different, we become the laughing stock of the class and people want to laugh at us and make fun of us because we are different. Austin, I've been different my whole life. And earlier on, yeah, it hurt. Yeah, it sucked. It really did. And you get older and you come to learn, you know, I learn differently. That's okay. I think that's what makes me unique. But there also comes that point where it's like, you got to look in the mirror and really the bottom line is you have to value yourself. You have to value yourself more than any person, more than any place, or another, more than any other thing. You know, and that's about that self-respect and the self-esteem. You know, you know you are different. You know you might learn differently. You, you think differently. Austin, not everybody likes me. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of people that don't. But if I lived my life thinking about who likes me and who doesn't like me, who my true friends are, who are just acquaintances, I would be miserable. You know, like I want to support people and say, this is your life. This is your dream. I want to accept people for who they are. Not everybody is like that, Austin, and you can't get caught up in that. You've got to go home and look in the mirror every day and say, I like me. I like me for who I am, and who I am is a part of where I've been. And you've had challenges and struggles, Austin. I have challenges and struggles. But that should never change who we are. The person we are is the person that, that's, that's strong. The person doesn't give up and toss in the towel. We don't quit. We don't, we don't walk away. We don't let people's opinions... We don't let people's judgments affect the person that we want to become. Be the you, Austin, that you want to be. Value yourself. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, is my life meaningful? What can you do to make your life meaningful? Is my life fulfilling? Is my life rewarding? Think about that. Is my life meaningful? Is it fulfilling? Is it rewarding? What can you do? A purpose for you that is bigger than who you are, Austin. You know, Austin, I remember many years ago, I knew I was different. I had to try and fit in. I didn't want to be a burden on my family or teachers. And I just thought maybe it would just be easier if I wasn't here. You know, toss in the towel, quit, give up, walk away. 
Maybe suicide was the answer. You know, Austin, I'm really glad that I never went that route. I think maybe I was scared. Suicide is never the answer, Austin. Suicide is a permanent action to a temporary problem. And I say that being sensitive because I know many people are hurting at depths that many people can't even understand. But I want to say that I think suicide leaves many people wishing they could have helped. Many people thinking they wish they could have helped you. I think suicide is a selfish act. Suicide is never the answer. Looking in the mirror and asking yourself better questions. How can I be a better son? How can I be a better daughter? How can I be a better athlete? How can I improve my grades? How can I make the team? How can I free myself of this depression and anxiety? It takes time. For me, it's about counseling. It's about medication. I think one of the other things for young people, Austin, not just you, but anyone else listening to this, I think there are three things young people need. Number one, I think you need the right amount of sleep. The average person, the average teenager needs eight hours of sleep. Nine if you're ugly. Number two, I think nutrition. We need to eat better and get out of the preservatives and all the white stuff, the sugars, and look for a gluten-free diet. And I think number three is we need to um, better, better exercise, get involved challenge yourself. Austin, it's okay to fail, but don't ever not do something for the fear of what somebody might make fun of you. Someone is going to laugh at you. Austin, you know something? People build themselves up by tearing people down to show that they're better by this comparison. The reality and the problem is, is people that are putting people down are still searching for the same meaning and understanding and looking for direction that you and I are looking for. So why are we going to give them the power over our emotions? Hey, Austin, time is now when you and I stop thinking we're sheep. And we go through life and we think we're a tiger. And tigers don't lose sleep. To the opinion of sheep. Hey Austin, I'm here for you, my friend. I hope you check out my other YouTube videos. Why don't together, you and I, we do it together. And we understand that every day is a battle. Do you know what? I wake up every day and get on my knees and I pray to my higher power. Give me the strength to make it through this day. Give me the passion and the enthusiasm to share my heart with the hearts of my audience. And I listen to three songs. That works for me, Austin. I listen to Bill Withers, Ain't No Sunshine, Jason Aldean, My Kind of Party, Jason Aldean, She's Country. I listen to those three songs. I start to, I start to feel good, Austin. Attitude and choices. Attitude and choices. You do that, Austin, life's going to be okay. I appreciate you listening. Take care.